Okay, so can you see what I see? Yeah, you see this creepy red skull? Yeah? Okay, good, good. You can see my arcade, my bed. So you can see what I see. Wow. That is amazing. That's so cool. So it's like you're right here with me. Yeah. All right, well, here's a very small tour of my place. There's my bed, my arcade, my little closet, my desk, my kitchen, <laughs> my storage room. And here's my bathroom. So yeah, that is it. So yeah, um, it's not in the best neighborhood. And even still, it's about 965 a month. So it's cheap, but it's still not cheap if you're on my budget. But I'll show you around. Um, how are you doing, by the way? You're good? Okay. Yeah, yeah, I know. It's been a little while. Is it still cold back home? A little bit. Okay, so, here we are, and here's what I'm not really excited about living here. Kind of feels like a motel, and not in a good way. I definitely hear some riffraff, but, you know, it's, it's fine otherwise, and Definitely the thing I've learned about Night City is that as long as you don't mess with the people, don't go looking for trouble, you'll be mostly fine. Yeah. So anyway, yeah, uh, you're saying it's still cold back home, but it's about to get nicer out, right? Yeah. Oh, I know. And those winters are so long. It's weird that at night, it gets pretty cold at Night City, I would say. I'm still getting used to seeing palm trees. But yeah, during the day, it's really nice here. Yeah. Oh no, I've come up here a few times. It's kind of a nice, chill area. So yeah, it's, you know, not exactly what I was uh, envisioning. When I was moving to Night City, you know, I think I stayed in Charter Hill when I first got out here, and that's like a really, really nice area, so it's very different, but, yeah, oh, I know, hey, you know, Parkour is kind of my favorite thing of Night City, I'm not gonna lie. You couldn't really do it back home. Not like this. Just look at that moon. It's beautiful.
beautiful, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, yeah, don't get me wrong, I miss things about home, but... You know, it's true what they say, there's just this energy in Night City that... You know, every day, even though I don't have everything set up the way I want out here. You know, waking up is so exciting. And maybe I'm still kind of in that honeymoon state of living here, but yeah, I just really love being engrossed by the world and yeah you know yeah you see that right oh things like that happen a lot everyone's just kind of doing their thing and that's why i kind of think you know it's like with any big city there's crime, but we're all just trying to get by. And I think a lot of people here find these ways to express themselves. Okay, yeah, so over here to my left is just a really nice little kind of a coffee shop, food, bar, area. It's kind of got it all. It's really nice. Sort of come here and chill. Get a late night coffee and... You know, I'm not claiming it's the best view ever, but... It's pretty nice. And it's not like I'm planning on staying in this area the whole time, living out here, you know. The goal is to live in the heart of the city. And I guess Charter Hill is the goal. It's just such a nice area out there. I really like it, but... Like I said, you know, it's not exactly cheap to live here, so I'm still pretty psyched that I was able to find that spot. Yeah. Oh, I know. 9.50 back home? You can get damn near a two-bedroom for that. Or at least, like, a, a really nice one-bedroom, right? Yeah. Oh, I would absolutely love for you to come out. Absolutely. Anytime. And you know that. Yeah. You are welcome here. Always. Over there? Yeah. I'll show you. Yeah, no, no worries. Oh, there's places like this all over. It's really cool. Yeah. I just like how everything is lit up. Oh, what's that? Oh, well. Yeah, so. Technically, I'm a subcontractor for the NCPD. I know. I, I know. It's really weird. But it's actually pretty decent work. I've only gotten a handful of gigs, but it pays pretty well. Yeah. I, I'm telling you. It's strange. I know. 
Oh, believe me, I would never tell my mother I did that. No, nope. Well, and I think it's actually good. It's been actually a good thing because it sort of helped me, I don't know, come to terms or kind of face my fear of the violence in Night City. Yeah. Right. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Wake up and smell the roses. Right. I know. Those palm trees. Yeah. Yeah. I know I'm getting used to it, too. You really don't. You never see that at home. So yeah, here's a nice clothing store. Well, I don't know. It's actually kind of pricey, but I bought a couple shirts and some pants there. Yeah. Right? Oh, I do it all the time. I'm always just looking up. I'm just in such awe of the city. Yeah. Would I ever come back home? Yeah, of course. I mean, holidays, especially. Christmas, you know. I mean, my parents are still home. You're still home. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I... Still getting adjusted, getting used to it. Yeah, it was scary as hell. You know that, I was freaking out. But, I don't know, once, once I got back here and found that spot to live and finding a little bit of work, feels like the right decision and I still am not sure what I want my story to be to be honest yeah what you want me to go up here All right. hey whatever I'll do it Yeah, see, you're kind of getting the bug too, aren't you? You want to come out and run around the city with me? Yeah, anytime. <laughs> yeah, that would be fun. I know, the, uh, the night is almost over, you can kind of see daylight is coming. <laughs> oh, me too, the early mornings. It's probably the most quiet, obviously, in Night City, but then you still get those neon lights yeah oh yeah yeah that's great I know right me too I love it Yeah, 
got this little market here. And honestly, this is probably the best place to like get some decent clothes. Yeah. I know. Hmm. That is the thing I am trying to be a little bit better about spending money out here. I was actually thinking about taking a cooking class. I know. Me cooking, I know. It's kind of a scary thought, right? It's a little bit scarier than subcontracting for the NCPD. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like I might burn my place down. No, no, but yeah, so that's another little marker back there. Yeah, I'll show you yeah, a little bit. Yeah, I think that's what I want to try to discover more of because I know. There's a lot of places like this. I don't know, actually, I haven't tried it yet. I've seen it, though, I should. It's pretty busy, usually. As you can see, yeah. I, yeah, I definitely need to. Oh, and how about this? 24 hours. Yeah. I mean, there's not a lot open 24 hours back home, is there? Right? It, this city never sleeps. Pretty much everything is open late. Open 24 So, anytime you're hungry, or you want to drink, or hell, even if you want to go shopping at 3 a.m., Night City has it. I know. Right? I know. Well... I was going to say, I can't believe you've never been here, but, I mean, you know, getting time off and vacation, money to spend on vacation, I know how it is. Yeah. I know, I would love for you to see it too. Oh, yeah, you hear that. Yeah, so that's pretty common. <laughs> yeah, you will hear and see that a lot. How am I not freaking out? Because that's how common it is. Yeah. I mean, just look at it. It's just so interesting. Well, I'm telling you, it, I'm going to have like permanent neck damage from just walking and staring up at the building. Mm hmm. Wouldn't it be cool to live here? 
nudge, nudge, wink, wink. Oh, yeah. You haven't seen these? I know, well, I... Obviously, but... I don't know. I remember seeing them in, like, movies and stuff. Yeah. That's the thing about Night City, is... Just the way... The way everything and everyone kind of coexists with technology. It's quite fascinating, really. Yeah. See? Anytime you want. Have you, um, I know you were thinking about maybe moving. Are you still looking at places or how's that going? <sighs> yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's so stressful. It is so stressful. Yeah. I know, that's the thing. Everything's going up. And, you know, Eddie's don't get nearly what they used to. It's everywhere, man. Like, it doesn't matter. Night City, back home, like, It sucks. light okay Ooh, yep well hey I mean that was probably the scariest thing I mean moving here without friends without knowing anyone that was scary but thinking about like where to live and how to find a place that I could afford that isn't in a totally scary neighborhood. I mean, I mostly did it. It's a little bit scary where I live, but you know, it's fine. It's just not where I always want to be. And yeah, it's you know, but it took like a lot of looking around, so, you know, just keep looking, something will come up, and, you know, you just gotta be on it, you know, keep checking, don't give up hope, oh yeah, I was, like I said, that was my biggest thing, almost felt like, am I going to be homeless out here? Am I going to have to move back home? And, 
you know, thank God if it came to that, I know that I could always go back home, but obviously it's not what I want to do. So. Yeah. Well, you'll be all right. Trust me. And if I can find a place out here, you'll, you'll be fine. But I do know. I don't want to discredit or invalidate the stress of it. Because I know that is. Yeah, man. I'm living in the future now. Here, let me Oh Yeah, it's got barbed wire I can't really jump up there I'm not gonna jump up there <laughs> Okay, well, yeah Yeah, right Pretty sweet Well, hey, yeah, um, yeah, I know you gotta get going, so thank you for coming along with me. It's pretty cool tech. I mean, you feel like you're right here, don't you? Right? I wish. Because then you and I could get a drink right here. Well, hey, I'll have a drink for you. How about that? All right, perfect. All right, well, I'll talk to you later. See ya.